Hello there, this is Sharon and Sally from The Curious Piano Ooh. Team. And we are, I know I'm sitting with my coffee, it's a, a lovely Saturday morning and we are going to take you on a tour of the membership site because we just feel that it would be really nice. I'm quite sure lots of you would love a little sneak peek into what we have in the site behind the scenes. So, Sally? Yep, so Sharon's going to sort of get her screen ready, I think, at her end, so that we can, as we say, take you back, back scenes. And we would, we've just done a little, li another live recording on, on uh, Facebook, and uh, where we were able to share our screen. And we were hoping to be able to do this on Facebook Live, but we couldn't share our screen and, um, and show you back, back, backstage, if you like. So, go on, Sharon, over to you. Yeah, okay. So... We now have a collection of 37 curiosity boxes and you can see here I'm just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Uh, this is, these are all the topics that you will get when you join. So you get access to all the back boxes in addition to all the boxes going forwards. Um, and just to have a quick sneak peek of what's coming. So this is our current box. We're just about to launch on Monday this brand new box, How to Teach Bergmuller Opus 100, a step-by-step -step guide to teaching a selection of these core repertoire pieces. We're really excited about that. Mm -hmm. uh, educating piano parents. Then we're going to be looking at you really all. excited about that as well because we're going to have an ebook and we've got Dr. Christopher Fisher coming to join us on that. Yeah. Uh, and then tutor books. I mean, you all know just how many tutor books are out there on the market. So, what we're doing is we're pulling all this good stuff um, and giving you a, a synopsis of um, the great stuff to use. Transfer students in the summer, we're exploring the music, the music of the boost. Mm -hmm. Teaching by Rote, and I saw that one of our new members hopped in into the um, our forum just last night to say, this is the one I'm looking forward to the most. Um, teaching um, romantic pictures and miniatures, again, another step-by-step -step guide to teaching selected repertoire. Okay, so you get an idea. This is all the stuff that is coming up. And what I'm now going to do is, I'm gonna click onto one of our, our, our latest boxes and show you what a box looks like on the inside. Yeah. Can so, I just say, well, whilst you're doing that, Sharon, you know, on the previous yeah. um, Facebook that we've, we've done, um, I was talking about how the four, there are four pillars of being a piano teacher. You know, there's being a pianist, being a teacher, being a musician, and being professional. And if you were looking through those boxes, you could see that a lot of them were applying those things, you know. So it's not just about learning how to teach, it's learning how to develop yourself as a musician and as a pianist. Um, you know, so looking at the music of Debussy, for example, how, uh, how to deepen our own understanding of the music of Debussy will help us as a teacher. Sorry, Sharon, go on. Sure. Okay. For sure, no, thank you for hopping in and saying that. Okay, so what I've just been doing is, I've been scrolling down, these are the videos um, in this month's bundle of resources. If I then click on this section, so this is, this is a fixture, so every month you'll have videos, then there'll be workbooks and resources, so these are printable PDFs, either for your own personal use as a teacher or uh, stuff that you print out and um, do with your students in lessons. And then we have a monthly webinar, which just means we get to connect live um, with you guys, um, with our members. Now, this is a new, and I love, love, love this feature, Sally. This is a new thing that um, you've been doing and where you have been delivering a podcast. Can you tell us more about that? Oh, well, I'm glad you've asked me about the podcast then, Sharon. Um, so a lot of our members were saying, oh, we, we, we really love watching the videos, but we're, we're in the car a lot or we go out running and we'd love to be able to listen to some of the stuff then. So we've yeah. started recently creating some podcasts for people to listen to and they've gone down very well. And in mm -hmm. fact, this next box, the Bergmuller box, I'm going to create a video that can also be a podcast. So um, you, can, you can either watch, watch me deliver or you can listen to me deliver. So no, that's... It's, it's a really, really cool move because it does mean that it's just so much easier um, to take on board the, um, the content. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna click on a few things because these are the um, student resources 
that you are getting inside. Um, as I say, this is just one box. This is the current box. Um, this lovely musical content analysis sheet. And this is what we've been doing here is we've been digging into, into practice. And the other thing, where is it? I want to just quickly share. Yes, it's this one. End of lesson resource. And you all know how we can easily say at the end of a lesson to a student, you're happy with how you're gonna practice this week? And they will just smile and nod. And then they arrive back to the next lesson. You think, oh, what happened to practice this week? And this box, we have been looking at how it's really important for us as teachers to help our students get clear on how they practice from week to week. So ultimately we want to be giving our students responsibility, but of course, in order for us to do that, we need to be taking responsibility for how we are actually presenting practice to our students. And we need to be giving them really clear strategies. And this little resource is the idea is, and this is why it's upside down, the idea is that you print this out and then you fold it in half so it looks like this. You'll set a timer and then you will, five minutes before the end of the lesson, you will ask one of these questions. So, for example, show me how you are going to practice the E flat major scale hands together this week. And the idea is you are just checking that they know exactly what's been going on in the lesson and how they're going to practice. So, um, I've got to say, I really like for sure this. Sally, do you have a favourite bit or resource um... in this particular I, I, I like the, the musical content analysis sheet and I like the discovery sheet actually. I use that a lot with my pupils. Yes. Um, and the musical content analysis sheet, this is for the teacher because you can only teach a piece if you understand what it is that the pupil needs to learn, the student needs to learn. Um, so rather than learning on the hoof alongside the, the student, we're encouraging our teachers in the community to actually sit down and analyze the piece and find out about the piece because then learning is so much more powerful. Yeah. And I was just going to say, Sharon, you know, going back to this idea of the four pillars of piano teaching, you know, this, this box absolutely ticks every, um, each one of them because, um, First of all, there's the uh, the teaching aids, which you can see, you know, there are uh, practice ideas there that help you, as Sharon's just said, you know, getting that, um, what you say at the end of the lesson, definitely helping you as a teacher. Um, there's um, the whole thing of being, being professional. And obviously these resources, again, when parents see them, it gives a professional feel to what it is you do. Um, there's being a musician and being a pianist, and um, probably not on there yet, but we will be putting in place a productive practice mini course for us, the teachers. And um, that will be helping us both as a musician and as a pianist as well. So um, lots and lots of stuff in there that you can apply at whatever level of teacher you are. So we've got teachers who are really quite um, experienced teachers who just want fresh ideas or we've got teachers who are maybe just starting their teaching journey and they're learning a lot from um, more, more experienced teachers. So last thing to show people here, maybe Sharon? I think let's, I've just gone back into the previous box um, and this is where we were talking about this idea of unblocking motivation. Do you wanna just quickly share? Cause I think this is a really, it's a very different angle to think about motivation, mm -hmm. but I think it's very, very powerful. Can you just yeah. share a little bit about this? And I'm just going to flick through this resource so that people get to see. Yeah, okay. So we did um, the January box, as Sharon said, is about motivation. If you just stay there for a moment, Sharon, that would be great. Um, so that... Um, when I was doing the research into it, you know, it's not a, it's not a fact. We all are motiv motivated. Yeah. We all have motivation. It's, it's not something that you have to get. We are all motivated, but what can happen is our motivation can get blocked. So as teachers, our role is to unblock motivation. And this is what these 18 strategies are about. It's about helping you to, to unblock pupils who have, 
have um, found that blockage in in the way or whatever the, that uh, that they're learning the piano at the time. So, for example, you know, helping students to celebrate, um, celebrate their achievement in big and small ways, and. Um, giving them appropriate acknowledgement, give, showing good work in the teaching studio. You know, not just their work, but letting them see here other pupils' work as well. Um, so that's that's been, I think, a really powerful, uh, powerful idea for a lot of the teachers, hasn't it? It has for sure. Sorry, my phone went off in the middle of that. As it does in these things. <laughs> As it does in these things. Yes. Yeah. So yes, um, I've got to say, and you can see here with this resource, you, you get these kind of really quick win wears of, of being able to action that. And that is something that we do love to be able to help you with um, in there. So, so we just wanted to say that um, enrollment, <laughs> enrollment to the Curious Piano Teachers is currently open. It closes at midnight um, Gre Greenwich Mean Time today. So you've got about from the moment of recording this you have got about um 12 14 hours um to 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 join because we'd love to have you on board and uh, experiencing all the delights of those curiosity boxes that we've we've just been showing to you yeah and i'm just going to finish off by saying there's a 30-day money-back guarantee that's only a tiny 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 little bit that we've been showing you this time. There is yeah. lots of yeah. in there. So yeah. I would encourage you to get in there, make use of that 30 days, just to, just to see, is this a good fit for me? Um, and that's the best way to explore and, and get a feel for the members of the community as well inside this forum that we have. <laughs> so it's been lovely to share with you this morning and we hope to see you inside the community. Really soon. Indeed. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.